Hey, it's Madra, and I want to talk to you today, and it's about your purpose. If you are drawn to this, you are most likely called by God to heal so that you can be the one to do the healing. If God is healing you, he wants to heal through you. If God is delivering you, he wants to deliver others through you. If God is comforting you through heartaches, he will use you to comfort others through your sympathy. If God is giving you a spirit of wisdom and counsel through your pain and hard-earned lessons, he wants to counsel and uplift others through you. He allows you to go through some things that reveal your blueprint for purpose. Your value is wrapped up in your unique experiences as well as your own uniqueness. You don't fit in the crowd because you were designed for greatness, chosen one. Your anointing is rooted in your individuality and God wants to develop it through his glory. The creator and his creation shine in glory and splendor and royalty. There's one thing you have to become conscious about. Your spiritual muscles must be shaped and developed by testing trials, hardships, and weights that you have to deal with until your anointing gets to a place of readiness according to the Most High's requirement for your destiny. You are God's chosen one, but you have to do one thing. You have to participate with his training plan. Will you accept this mission? Hello, friends of God. My name is Madra. Some people say my name means mother, and I just happen to love giving motherly insight and advice and encouragement to God's people. Welcome back to another uplifting journey in faith. Today, we're going to dive into real stories of hope and deliverance straight from the word of God. These stories will be powerful reminders to you that God is still in the business of delivering his chosen ones and using them to deliver others. I want you to think about Moses. He was chosen by God. He led the Israelites out of Egypt. But before that, Moses had to overcome his own fears and doubts. In Exodus 3, verses 11 through 12, Moses said, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? But God reassured him, saying that I will be with you. Just like Moses, you can feel inadequate at times, chosen one. But God is with you on your way to deliverance. Then look at Joseph. Are you a Joseph? Joseph was betrayed by his own brothers and sold into slavery. His journey seemed hopeless. Yet in Genesis 50 verse 20, Joseph declares to his brothers, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for my good. What the enemy meant for evil, God turned it into a powerful testimony of deliverance. Joseph's story reminds you that no matter how deep the pit, God can lift you out and position you for greatness. Lastly, I want you to think about the Apostle Paul. He was formerly known as Saul. In Acts chapter 9, you see a man who persecuted Christians, yet God met him on the road to Damascus and completely transformed his life. Paul's deliverance was not just about escaping his past, but stepping into his own divine purpose. If God can deliver Paul from a life of sin and use him to spread the gospel, he can deliver you and use you mightily in his kingdom. Unknown in one, these stories are not just for them, they're for you. Your journey through deliverance might feel overwhelming. But know that you are chosen by God. Just as he delivered them, he will deliver you. That same God who parted the sea, raised Joseph from the pit, and transformed Saul into Paul is the God who is working in your life. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for every one of your children who is watching this today. I ask you to remind them of your mighty power to deliver and restore them. Just as you were with Moses, Joseph, and Paul, be with them on their journey. We declare and decree what the enemy meant for evil. You are turning it around for their good and their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. If this message blessed you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you need more support in your prayer life, join this community where we walk together in faith. Until next time, stay blessed and stay encouraged.